Yo, back at it again with another video. Thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. So, uh, Biden has dropped out of the race. Therefore, the current VP, Kamala Harris, is the presumptive nominee. Most of the Democratic delegates are uh, basically going to probably be coalescing around her in the next couple weeks. So she is the presumptive nominee, therefore she would have to pick a VP candidate. And my opinion, I think she should go with Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir. I think he would make a great choice for VP. So let's hop on over to the CNN article. So we have a short list of Democrats who could be a vice presidential pick for current vice president Kamala Harris. So on the thumbnail here we got... Um, Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper, who is term limited, um, Senator from Arizona Mark Kelly, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir, Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker, Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, and California Governor Gavin Newsom. Now, I like these two as picks, but I think two women on the ticket you need some balance so unfortunately I don't think Whitmer would be the pick because you would have two women on the ticket you gotta have of you know these eight candidates you got seven are male so you gotta have a woman and a male on the ticket for complementary demographics um, Gavin Newsom from California um, that would not work because Kamala Harris is also from California and that essentially essentially would be vacating 54 electoral votes. So unfortunately, I don't think Whitmer or Newsom is the pick. J.B. Pritzker is, doesn't have a whole lot of national name recognition. Pete Buttigieg would be good. I think he would be a great pick, but I think the two or three that I would choose from are Governor Shapiro, uh, Senator Mark Kelly, and Governor Bashir. The reason why Shapiro, he's from a battleground state, Pennsylvania's 19 electoral votes. Mark Kelly, also from a battleground state, 11 electoral votes from Arizona. But I really like Andy Bashir, so I'm going to go down and see what they have to say. Uh, one re-election to a second term last November in a deep red state that Trump carried by 25 points in 2020. So that is, that's the reason why I'm really big on him because he is a twice elected Democratic governor from a southern state. Who in this southern state is very very red. Trump carried it by 25 points, so you're probably looking at about 70 to or 60 to 40 or like 65 to 35 or like or something along that lines um he was asked are you at least open to the possibility of running and he said well i think if someone calls you on to calls you on that what you do is you at least listen so obviously he's trying to play play both sides um his father was also a governor for two terms and received national attention for lowering the state's uninsured rate. Um, yeah, he's, he's a pretty popular governor. He's made headlines, leadership through the pandemic, different tornadoes and flooding, um, and he knows how to work with Republicans. He, you know, he has a state house and a state senate with essentially super majorities for the Republicans so I think all these other ones will be good Pete Buttigieg you know transportation secretary you know he was a former mayor he had service in Afghanistan first openly gay man to launch a competitive campaign for president Gretchen Whitmer another great choice but unfortunately along with Gavin Newsom I don't think are leading contenders for the VP pick for the ticket, you probably have to have Kamala Harris, a woman, male VP pick. And the reason Newsom wouldn't be able to do it is because 
you can't both be from the same state otherwise you void out the votes from those states so I think Bashir is a good choice he is from you know a very Republican state he's known how to navigate you know he's again a twice elected Democratic governor from a very very red state so he knows how to work with both sides of the aisle He's very popular. I think he is the VP pick I would choose. The Kamala Harris, Andy Bashir ticket would be very, very interesting. Also, JD Vance from Ohio, Andy Bashir from Kentucky. I think that would be a very interesting vice presidential debate. Just saying. Okay, I'm going to log off I think that he would be a good pick I think he is the pick that I would choose but we will see how this all plays out in the next couple of days and next couple of weeks so I'm gonna log off and I'll see you on the next video deuces